When Jesse and Kelly announced that they were getting married, many people laughed at the bride-to-be's decision to take a double amputee as a husband. But just a year later, those same people deeply regretted their words when a beautiful picture of them went viral on the internet. She walked down the aisle on her father's arm in a perfect-fitting, elegant white wedding dress. At the front of the North Chapel in San Diego, California, her groom was anxiously but eagerly waiting. He could not wait to make this woman his wife. Although the couple had only eyes for each other, their large wedding party of eight bridesmaids and eight groomsmen was indicative of the friendships they had fostered over the years. Many of Kelly's friends from her long-standing swimming career and varsity days were in attendance, and various handsome marines made up the numbers on Jesse's side of the wedding party. Unfortunately, not all of them were completely on board with the wedding, and some had even tried to break the couple apart. But for Kelly and Jesse, this fairy tale day was a pivotal milestone in a difficult season. Nothing else mattered, not after the struggles they had already faced since the beginning of their relationship, and even before that. In fact, one of them had even looked death straight in the eyes when Jesse had gotten his call up papers to join the Afghanistan war. With the American troops, he and his military family had been extremely proud. The historic events of the 9-11 attack on the United States were still fresh in their minds. This young man was a soldier at heart and was finally given the opportunity to defend this country. His family had an impressive military background too, starting with his father being a Marine in the Vietnam War. In addition, his maternal grandfather had served in the US Army during World War II. It was therefore no surprise that Jesse was selected to join the prestigious Marine Corps during his deployment to Afghanistan in 2003. He would serve his country in one of the most dangerous and turbulent times in recent American history. Prior to his deployment to Afghanistan, he had already served three tours in Iraq as a field operator. He had shown tremendous promise with regards to explosives and was therefore selected to specialize as an explosive technician. He was ready for whatever life would dump in his lap. And yet, July 19, 2009 became a tragic day Jesse and his family would never forget. His dad got the phone call that their son had been seriously injured in an explosion caused by an improvised explosive device. While on foot patrol in Nozad province of Afghanistan, he had stepped on a pressure plate, finding himself at the center of the explosion and receiving serious damage to his legs. The whole event had been captured on a helmet cam worn by one of his teammates. Although doctors did all they possibly could to try and save his legs, the only option was to do a double amputation. Jesse would have to adapt to a life without legs. At best, he could be fitted with prosthetic legs after all the wounds had healed. Although prosthetics allowed a person to walk again, amputees still make use of their wheelchairs in most circumstances to minimize the strain on their bodies. After arriving back in the States, he had to face a challenging process of rehabilitation and healing. If it wasn't for the character that this young man displayed, he might have gone into a deep depression and succumbed to PTSD. Fortunately, his family gave him all the support he needed to heal and not give up on life. Physical therapy in the pool was something Jesse loved, but it wasn't without its challenges. One of those mornings, Jesse woke up reluctant to go to the pool. But if he had known that destiny was waiting for him, he would have jumped out of bed. Time stood still the moment Jesse laid eyes on a beautiful blonde girl from the boys' state swimming team. She came over and started chatting to him, looking him straight in the eyes. His heart skipped a few beats as he realized that she was flirting a little. Also, Jesse was a little out of his depth. As this was his first time out in public with his prosthetics, Kelly had no idea what Jesse had been through. After getting to know him a little and watching a documentary about the explosion, as well as the rehabilitation process thereafter, she had a glimpse about the realities of war the man she liked had been through. The families of veterans often have no clue about how to support and work with these traumatized individuals. Kelly and Jesse also had misunderstandings and conflicts in this regard, but their friendship and love stood the test of time and on August 18, 2012, prompted them to say I do in front of hundreds of people. They knew very well that not all their friends agreed with their decision to get married. Many had even laughed at Kelly when she had proudly shown off her engagement ring, telling her she would never be happy by a disabled man's side and predicting a life of caregiving and resentment for her. 
But even when things were hard, Kelly and Jesse held on to their love for each other and navigated married life with grace and mutual support. She knew he still had PTSD from his accident and sometimes needed time to collect his thoughts by himself and never resented him for it. At the same time, he knew she would inevitably feel burnt out from all the responsibilities from time to time and vowed to always be patient and understanding. A year after their actual wedding, the couple did a second wedding photo shoot. This time, Kelly wore an off-white strapless gown while Jesse could finally pose in his military uniform. It was always his dream to get married in military attire, but at the same time of the wedding, his weakened body was still not in the right conditions to do so. The photo shoot was a wonderful way to celebrate that their marriage had already made it through the first difficult year. Although the couple dearly loved each other, their journey wasn't without obstacles and frustrations. To re-establish a life and career after such a tragic event is extremely difficult. Jesse was done with the military and in 2011 enrolled in a USD graduate degree program to give himself a new lease on life. Choosing biology as a major was a logical option, as he was already a certified medical assistant and wanted to keep his options open to get involved in the medical field. He graduated in 2014 and since then has been loving every minute of his new work life. Over the years, the Cottle family has also been blessed with two lovely daughters. Jesse has adapted to life without legs and does everything with his wife and kids, even though he has had to overcome several obstacles in his life every day. At the beginning, in fact, the Cottle family lived in houses that were not specially adapted for a person moving along in a wheelchair. But when the Gary Sinai's foundation handed them the keys to a custom-built house in 2019, they finally found their forever home to settle down in. This extraordinary house in the Eagle and Boise area was fitted with smart technology that work on voice commands. Jesse was extremely excited to be able to cook in his own kitchen and develop the outside of the property. This exemplary man always pushed forward and never felt sorry for himself. In 2013, Jesse and Kelly went to visit their family in Boise and Kelly's mom arranged for a third special photo shoot. In a spontaneous moment, the photographer asked Kelly to carry Jesse on her back while they were standing in the river. The picture made the family smile, but when the photographer shared it on her page, it quickly went viral. The moment became symbolic of the way Kelly emotionally carried her husband in times of struggle and turmoil. Although the couple had the support of most of their loyal friends, there were also the ones who did not expect the relationship to work out, let alone last for more than a decade and prosper. But when after a year of doubt and negative thought, they finally saw that their relationship was blooming, they regretted their initial response. This match was made in heaven. Kelly and Jesse showed the world that true love can overcome any obstacle in life and did it with a smile on their face and unwavering dedication to each other. The people who had laughed at them finally understood the magnitude of their love and wished them a lifetime of happiness. Truly, there was no one in the whole city who deserved it more than them. What a beautiful ending. Do you think a relationship between a healthy person and an amputee is anything different from what we would call normal relationships? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.